Prasad, I have a question for you. How do you change or move from something that you've had success with? Well, I think based on my experience, you need a little bit of rest. You need as much space as you can afford between chapters. You need at least two weeks, right? Or it might be, in my case, it was a year, right? Between the last venture to, to rocket ship. Uh, but you, ne- you need that space to kind of let all of the you know, entrepreneurial or work muscles kind of like rest. I've met friends that have had great success in an exit and they said, hey, where did you go? I said, what do you mean? I said, you disappeared for a year. I said, yeah. And I said, I heard you started this and this. They said, well, I wish I took the time. I said, why? And they most of the time it was a different version of I would have had better perspective as to what to do next or how to do the same thing better in, in, in this particular chapter. So the rest is important. But then the next thing is you've got to look inside for the motivation to drive hunger. Let's say you had success in the past and that success led to money not being a motivator anymore. So you don't need money to for your lifestyle anymore. That's covered. For many people, that could lead to complacency, rust setting in, or just laziness. And I think you've got to dig within yourself to figure out what the motivation is going to be to do that next thing. And you've got to manufacture constraints, barriers, techniques to drive the hunger. You got to be hungry and humble again, because if you're coming at it from like, I've been successful, I know everything, um, you know what? I don't know. There's, it's it, You're not going to be hungry enough to do that next thing that, and that hunger is so like, it's such a requirement. So you got to find ways in the next chapter to manufacture the hunger while also bringing along all the lessons and wisdom you learned before. Mm, Easier said than done, my friend. Easier said than done.